welcome to this Windows channel and this is the look and review uh, quick review of the new build of Windows 10 which is Windows 10 uh, build 10565 it was uh, released yesterday and um, yesterday October the 12th and it is uh, you know about a month before we get to the insider previews so uh, that's interesting to see that we are uh, moving on with new features here in this build. So as you see in the bottom right, the watermark Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview Evaluation Copy Build 10565. So what's uh, new in this uh, version? First of all, it took about an hour to install, which is the typical time of install of uh, on this machine of all the previews. Uh, no error messages, no problems. Uh, but I, that said, I did see that some people seem to have problems in the install. They uh, have problems and it rolls back to the old build. Also, uh, even Paul Tarot on his famous Tarot.com uh, blog uh, says that he tried two or three times and had blue screens and rolled back to the old preview, which was 10.5.4.7. Um, new things in Edge. Edge slowly being, uh, you know, updated with new features. Uh, one of the things that it has that's interesting is um, the possibility now to have um, tab previews. So you see here, I got a tab, I can preview uh, all the other tabs that are on the browser. So that's a nice feature, new tab uh, preview feature. It enables you to uh, sync across devices. So now when you go into the settings, you have that little button here see your favorites and reading lists across your Windows devices so with the sync option on so it seems that we'll be able to sync all of our information across devices which I like a lot because that's one of the features that's missing for me in Edge um, you also have uh, when you upload if you now upload to a website you actually have the possibility to drag and drop a file directly into the browser this is a feature that's really, really useful, and a lot of people were asking for it, and now it's available. Uh, this is a feature, actually, that was available. Uh, it's already available on um, Edge, uh, not Ed Edge, <laughs> on, uh, sorry, Google Chrome. And um, now they had it in Edge. That's what I wanted to say. Also, new way of now snapping the dev tool for uh, uh, when you press F12 and you get to this... Uh, um, console and the debugger and everything for web pages you now have the possibility to snap it in the way that you feel is right when you're using the dev tool of course more of the things that they did is tweak the color scheme so every time you look at uh, you know the little toolbars and everything everywhere um, the colors match the background that was already there but they tweaked it so that you can actually adjust um, you know if you want it a little darker or lighter or anyways you can play with that you can tweak a little more uh, some new I icons you know like if you go into the uh, registry editor there's a new icon as you see here this is the new icon there um, what else do we have um, so Skype integration so now when you actually look and uh, type Skype here you see that I have something called Skype video this is Skype integration into Windows itself meaning that you don't really need to get a version of Skype if you want you can use this and uh, typically it will work it even works if you don't have an account um, I'm not really sure how but um, you can now even have Skype calls from someone even if you don't have an account there are some ways apparently to have it working so uh, Skype integration everywhere, that's uh, nice. I think that's a useful feature. It's a little bit like um, FaceTime on Apple. Basically works pretty much there in th the same way. So if you have other people with Windows 10 and they're in their, your contacts, you can actually uh, use Skype um, video to have, you know, uh, video calls. Uh, just like we do with, um, you know, like I said, FaceTime in, uh, on Apple and on iPhone. Start menu still being tweaked and refined uh, when you actually right click now. Uh, even more refinement in the different uh, contextual menus, uh, which is nice. 
uh, makes it you know gives a little more polish a little more finish to a Windows 10 environment really uh, Cortana has new features Cortana now has the feature of uh, being able to actually read and written signs um, Cortana also can uh, now view through your emails um, any you know movie tickets that you can purchase any concert tickets anything that's happening um, also Cortana now tells you two hours in advance of all sorts of notifications you want her to uh, tell you in advance stuff like that you know uh, they're making Cortana better and better all the time and um, also integration to more countries apparently with this version and you can download the language packs for uh, for example Canada and the insider preview works for in Canada for Cortana and uh, Australia and a few countries so gives an idea that Cortana will work probably in a lot of countries as Threshold 2 comes in November. Uh, an interesting thing about activation starting this build you can actually activate your Windows um, when it asks you for a product key you can actually enter a Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 valid activation key a product key and it actually will activate um, by checking it out so it won't use that key but what it's going to do is simply going to uh, check if the key is valid if it's valid in the computer you're using and if so free upgrade will process and activate uh, and I think this addresses a lot of issues people having with activation basically so uh, that's actually nice you know people now will enter valid Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 key and it has to be the same machine because you know your these keys are valid to a specific computer if you try to use it somewhere else it won't work and won't activate uh, you, you cannot fool this system really speed wise works well pretty fast having a lot of um, you know fun with it been uh, using it for as a main computer basically since yesterday had no problem at all I can tell you that this works really well um, no crashes no problems at all um, I haven't had any issues with anything I've used and I've tried everything from Cortana to pretty much everything I wanted to try inside of uh, this preview no problems at all works fantastically well I think it's a good preview um, so if you are an insider why not go and get it uh, I know some of you have been waiting for me to actually talk about it, how I feel how it works. Works well, actually. So why not upgrade um, and try your hand at this Insider Preview. Once again, like I said, Insider Previews are for people that know their way around computers. Don't go and get it, you know, Insider Previews if you're not very tech-oriented because uh, this is unfinished software. It can crash, it can cause problems. Um, insider being an insider is not for everyone and uh, make sure that you have a specific computer that you use for that because don't use a main computer as an insider preview it's not a good idea once again um, this is unfinished software uh, the computer I'm using now is only doing insider previews nothing else that's why it um, I, I use it like that it's really really a dedicated computer for insiders that's why I'm doing this and having fun. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Microsoft Windows, about PCs, about technology in general, please ask. If you have problems, share it with us. We'll try to help you if we can. Hopefully, you like our videos. Give us thumbs up if you do. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little review of Windows 10 Pro build 10565.